So let's go ahead and just go through this idea. If you're sitting at home and you know, you're not here live, say this out loud with me, read it with me, distributive property, make sure that everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. Let me show you how that looks. Let's zoom on in and let me show you. So I'm gonna begin with this X over here. I'm gonna make sure that this X multiplies with this X, X times X. And I'm also going to make sure that that same X multiplies with the negative eight. So that'll be minus eight times X. Before I continue everybody, make sure everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. This X needed to multiply with the other X, boom. Also needed to make sure that the X multiplied with the negative eight, boom. Now I'll continue. Now I'm gonna make sure that the five multiplies with everything from the parentheses, multiplied by the X. So that's plus five X. Then multiply the five with the negative eight. So that'll be five times negative eight. Again, that's all it takes. As long as you remember the rule, Notice how we just did the exact same multiplication without having to look goofy and write this down. And on top of that, you know, it just takes less time as you build more confidence with this. So when we take a look at where we currently are, here we go. Here we go. Everybody X times X list it out loud. Go ahead. X times X gives me X to the power of two, just like we saw before. Doesn't change anything. That's right. Then we have negative eight times X. That's minus eight x we continue from there five times x that's five x and then we have the five times the negative eight everybody five times negative eight what's that going to give us correct negative 40 just like we saw before so notice how we ended up at the same exact spot with less to write down and now all we have to do is combine those like terms just like we did before and we're set negative 8x plus 5x everybody what's that gonna be just like we saw before, yeah, negative 3x, that's right. So we have x squared minus 3x minus 40. And we can see that we can get the same exact correct answer with a different strategy. But remember that this strategy works for all polynomial distributions. It works for all of them.